Many of our everyday activities involve a certain degree of risk, whether to our work, finances or health. But how is risk perceived within a society and how do individuals think about risk? But disciplines such as psychology, sociology and economics define it in different ways. According to Wolf, little attention has been paid until now to the fact that the meaning of risk can differ from individual to individual depending on goals and life experience. He feels it is important to understand how different people think about risk in order, for example, to gauge attitudes to new technologies or societal challenges. Using this method, researchers surveyed a nationally representative sample of 1205 people, with equal representation of men and women and different age ranges. An algorithm was used to generate a semantic network of risk from the 36, 100 associations. It identified the following components. Threat, fortune, investment, activity and analysis. Up until now, studies have mostly focused on the negative components of risk and ignored the fact that it can also have positive associations, Wolf comments. The method is designed to map both individual and group-specific differences in risk perception. The psychologists investigated the differences between men and women and between different age groups. Overall, women and men and people of different ages appeared to share similar thoughts about risk. Nevertheless, there were some differences. A higher proportion of older people than younger people and a higher proportion of women than men associated risk more closely with threat and less with fortune. Small differences between languages The researchers also posed the question, do people from different language regions think about risk in a similar way? To investigate this, they compared the semantic network of risk that emerged from the German survey group with those that resulted in two other languages, Dutch and English. There were some small differences in the frequency of associations. For example, in Dutch the term risk tended to be more closely associated with threat and in English more with fortune and finance. Overall, however, the results indicate that there are some universal correlations in risk representation that transcend language boundaries. Our study lays new foundations for examining the question of how people think about risk, says Wolf. It could play an important role in helping to provide a better understanding of how different social groups interpret risk, enabling risk communication strategies to be improved to combat social polarization. Dirk U. Wolf, Rui Mata How Society Thinks About Risk Science Daily, ift.tt slash wn3i26j Access July 8, 2022 Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.